I began my medium journey about six months ago, just over six months ago, actually. It took me about 30 days to get monetized. So about seven months ago was when I first started writing on medium. And I was immediately really, really pleasantly surprised by just how much traction I actually began getting on the platform and how much readership I was having. And then suddenly money started rolling in from me just writing articles online, which is a pretty cool thing and something that was an unexpected surprise because I've talked about on the channel before how I love writing, even in an age of AI, in an age where we can almost go on chat GPT, tell it to write us an article and have an article there. I don't think we will ever replace the actual benefits for ourselves of writing an article. Like when I come with an idea, sit at my computer and just write, it really, really helps me to solidify my thinking, to form really solid and tangible thoughts. And that is a benefit that AI will never be able to replace for us. Well, maybe if we get like Neuralink and it, uh, who knows what's gonna happen, but at least for now, there is no replacement for doing the work of writing. Even if nobody ever reads it, if it helps you to solidify some thinking in your mind and gives you that clarity of thought, I think it's a really, really valuable exercise. Plus, it's a great tool for expanding your audience and for making a little bit of money on the side. And as promised today, I'm gonna to talk about exactly how much I earned in my first six months on Medium and also share just some learning that I've learned along the way. You know, I'm by no means a professional writer. I mean, I guess technically I am because I do get paid to write on Medium, but I'm, you know, my thing isn't writing. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a business person through and through. I run businesses and that's actually just what I share on my Medium account. So that's probably gonna get me into something a little bit down the line in regards to a good hot tip that I have. But first and foremost, let's just dive in to the earnings because I know that's why you're on this video because I probably put it as some clickbaity title, uh, how much money I made on Medium in six months. So let's dive into that and then I will share some learnings and some tips along the way a little bit later on in the video. So I'm just gonna open up my Medium account now so we can have a little look at how much I made. So we are in the back end of my Medium account and we're currently today on the 2nd of September and uh, so far this month I've made $73, but there are six other months that we can dive into here in regards to my earnings. So let's dive in and have a little look at the story stats and the partner program earnings. So we have for the last six months, March was when I, the first month that I was monetized and I was only monetized for like the back end of that month, I think like three or four days. Um, but that month I pulled in 116 dollars. April, we started to make a little bit more traction. In April, I made $569.67. In May, again, a little bit more traction, $717.54. June was my, my real flagship month. That's when, if I'm, if I'm being honest, I had an article that, uh, that went a bit viral. And I had a couple of articles actually that, that did really, really well. And they actually did. And we'll dive into that pull a lot of the revenue um, that I made on the platform. Uh, I started to slack a little bit. Business got quite busy for me and I was pretty heads down with uh, with you know my day-to-day -day business and, and to be honest you know, that that has to be the focus for me. You know I'm building out uh, an agency and we've got a team in place. We've got a few dozen clients around the world and, and my focus just needed to be in there for, uh, for kind of the, the best part of the last two, three months, to be honest. So I have been slacking a little bit. I have managed to create some articles, but not a bunch. Uh, but anyway, my earnings started to, to come down a little bit. And then because of that, again, August was a pretty poor month in terms of earnings, $209. And then as you can see on September 2nd, as of making this video, we're up to $76, which actually is not bad if it keeps going on that rate, then yeah, wow, I could be on for, for about $900 if I continue on the trajectory of making um, $35 a day or whatever that is. So that brings us to a total of $3,431.55. So roughly three and a half grand. By the end of this seven month, we could well be at four grand, but let's say three and a half grand for six months. So 
realistically, what could you make on medium? I can only speak for myself, but if I carry on on this trajectory, we could well be looking at about $7,000 a year, which isn't going to change your life, but for writing online for something that, you know, potentially you just enjoy doing anyway, I don't think it's a bad, it's not a bad income at all. And it's a nice little side hustle. The good thing about this as well is it's not like you have to be slogging away every single day. Um, and let's have a little look at what I mean by that, because I haven't been writing every day. And in fact, to be honest, I've been a bit inconsistent with my articles. August was a bit of a better month actually in terms of creating content. But let's go all the way back to where I first started creating articles. So back in February was when I first started creating content. And uh, it's kind of annoying actually because this first article I did went really quite viral, but it was before I had 100 followers. So I actually missed out on a good bit of income there because it didn't start monetizing me until I got to that 100 uh, follower point. But anyway, first article I ever wrote was 10 daily habits that made me a millionaire at 28. I know slightly clickbaity title, but it was all true. You know, that that was something that I put together based on like my journey as an entrepreneur and thinking about all the things that I've done, habits I've picked up, things like that. So that generated a nice bit of income, 681. And then as we can see, um, some articles have done really, really poorly in terms of generating income, about five bucks here, you know, six cents here uh one dollar here six dollars there 20 cents here four dollars you know one dollar some articles you know doing okay 25 dollars there um this one here 352 dollars uh, this was the real the real money maker to be honest and this article is some of my best work i must say i, re I really enjoyed writing this article and i've had a lot of good feedback but yeah 15 hundred dollars more or less from that article which was really really cool to see and that article still has a lot of traction i've had a lot of people come onto the youtube actually from that article so thank you if that was you and then yeah as you can see it's um what i'm trying to get at here as we can see on the screen is that different articles will generate different levels of income so don't be disheartened if one article you know doesn't hit because another article may hit and that will kind of smooth out your income on the platform so there we have it. My first six months of writing on Medium yielded me about three and a half thousand dollars in income. For the effort that I put in, I think 34 articles that I've written, I'm quite happy to be honest. You know, it was a really, really cool experiment and I definitely want to continue on that trajectory. My goal is to, to continue on the run rate that I'm on. And if I average it out, you know, I've been doing probably like four or five articles per month, which for me is a realistic cadence. And it's something where I can actually put in you know, I can put in the right level of effort needed. I don't just want to slapdash create articles that I don't feel are of high quality. I want to actually put high quality stuff out there. And this gets me onto some of my points around how to become successful as a medium writer and how to actually start generating, whether that be, you know, a couple hundred bucks a month, 500 bucks a month, or maybe you really want to push it and start making this a full-time income. I know that there are some people who have managed to do that, which is really, really cool to see. So my first tip is going to be exactly what I've just mentioned there, quality over quantity. Now, of course, you don't want to spend the whole month writing, you know, an article. But as we can see from the content that I've created, I've been putting effort into every single article. Only one or two of them really, really hit. And even the ones that I think are actually really high quality and some of the ones I thought, wow, this is some really good writing. Surely this will do well. They've made like 20 30 bucks so i would really emphasize that spending time creating quality is important there does still need to be a level of quantity out there but i think if you can you know create one article a week then long term that's a better strategy than maybe just trying to write something every single day and create and get like a slapdash article out every single day at least that's my thinking along these lines I think it makes sense to put really high quality stuff out there because that's what's going to drive your subscribers. That's what's going to drive people following you on Medium. And that is another actual element of the income on Medium. Small element, but people signing up to the Medium platform as a result of reading my article, there was a small part of my income has actually been attributed to that as well. So that is my first tip is, is you know, if you can go on a run rate of one high quality article per week and everything you put out there is, you know, people will read it and you think 
I have in mind for this article that somebody's going to read this and subscribe. I think that's a really, really nice place to begin. My second piece of advice is to speak with authenticity in your articles. I do see some stuff on Medium which is a little bit just like, dare I say it, kind of like vague and wishy-washy and just like doesn't have any like personal touch to it. And I think when you're writing articles, people just like with YouTube or just like with anything, they want to know the person, just like doing business with someone, right? You want to kind of know that person, you want to figure out who they are, what they're about, what their values are. So I've tried to do that in, in all my articles. I've tried to actually just put a little bit of a flavor of my thinking, you know, what it is that I've done, what it is that I recommend, what it is that I think and believe and some of my values and things like that. I've tried to sprinkle that in to build a little bit of a bond with my audience. So I think being courageous enough and finding that edge that you have. So for me, you know, it's entrepreneurship. I've been building companies for the last seven, eight years. So I kind of take everything I've learned and my beliefs and the things I like to do, the things I don't like to do, the things I think are great, the things I think are BS. I will just say it all in the article. Sometimes I even swear in articles because I'm trying to be authentic. You know, that is me. If I'm having a conversation with a friend sometimes, I might say fuck. <laughs> like that's just, that is something that I might say. I put that into my articles because I want it to be authentic. I actually want people to read these articles and think, oh, you know, this guy's actually quite cool. I want to follow some of his work. And I think by being kind of authentic and being your real true self in your writing, that's going to really, really help. My third piece of advice is consistency. And as you can see, that's something that I kind of haven't been doing at all times. And I think I would have had much, much better results if I would have really, really stayed consistent. As we can see from my um, kind of content here, you know, in July, I put out one article. That's not good enough. I, I should have been focusing in if I really wanted to take Medium seriously. I know why I didn't do it because I was focusing on the businesses. And to be honest, you know, the three and a half gram that I made on medium, I can make that in a day if I really focus in on my business. So it's not, it's definitely not an income source for me. And it's not something that I'm really, you know, relying on as a source of income. But if you do want to take this seriously, I, I think it would be possible. I can't see why not. I haven't spoken to anyone personally who's making like, you know, six figures on medium or anything like that. If that is you, then definitely reach out. I'd love to hear your story. Um, but if you've made any income on medium, comment below and let me know, you know, how how you found it and, and what your experience was and what your tips are. Share them with anyone who's watching this. I think it's gonna be super, super valuable. But that is my final piece of advice is to be consistent if you can, because I've seen when I was consistent at the start, that was when, to be honest, my income was better. You know, as we can see those months where I made over $1,000, um, that was when my consistency was a little bit higher. And I think Medium will most likely reward you for having that steady consistency. But again, consistency with quality in mind, I think is important. So, you know, not relying so much on quantity and not relying so much on like every article has to be a masterpiece, but just putting out really solid, high quality stuff on a nice, regular, steady cadence, I think is the best strategy on Medium. So I hope that was helpful. I will check in again for sure on my Medium journey. I'm enjoying it. I love writing. So, you know, for me, it's a great outlet because there's a built-in audience. You know, if I was just to write on like a random WordPress blog, it's, let's face it, going out into the ether. You know, it's not gonna rank anywhere near high enough. Whereas Medium has that like built-in SEO, that built-in audience. So I think it's a great place to be putting out content and I highly, highly recommend it. If you are a writer, start utilizing Medium because it's, there's a great audience on Medium. If you're watching this and you came from Medium, you have a special place in my heart because I think the audience on Medium is a higher quality audience than anywhere else in the world. It's a tuned in audience. It's an audience that's hungry for knowledge and it's an audience that will actually sit there for five or 10 minutes and read, which is actually quite rare in today's modern age. So I hope that was helpful. Again, any questions, any comments, if you've got your own experience on Medium, pop them in the comments below. And until next time, all the best and take care.